Welcome, everyone. Glad to have you on the Inner Revolution podcast. Very excited today to have our special guest with us. And we're going to talk today to men in particular to encourage you in what is a real man. You know, we think about men in general in the media and in life, and there's so many uh, things that come at us men. And so today I just want to talk just for a few minutes with our special guest, Atul Singh, about what is a real man. And just before we get to him, think about this, that a man should be known for the content of his soul. So what we receive, what we think about, what we are meditating on really deepens us in our faith, deepens us in our identity. As doers, as overcomers, as conquerors, as leaders, as role models, oftentimes we take our identity based on what we do. But what happens if what we do is taken away from us? What happens if what we're a part of falls apart? Well, the content of our soul really keeps us. Uh, It really keeps us connected to something greater than ourselves, and that's the Lord Jesus. So today, as we're thinking about real men, we could really define this in many directions. A real man loves God. Uh, a real man is not perfect, but he is. Uh, he knows where to go when he falls down. He knows who to go to, and he's confident in his identity in Christ. So these are just some thoughts we're going to unpack over the coming weeks as we talk about men and uh, real men walking with God. And we're not letting the world or media or even our past define us, but we are uh, conquerors in Christ. We are leaders, servant leaders and role models, dads, uh, husbands, uh, servants. Uh, These are incredible privileges in our life. So without any further ado, I'd like to introduce Atul Singh. He helps us here at Greater Grace with our men's ministry. And he's got some great thoughts to share with us today. Atul, great to have you today. Well, thank you, Pastor Jason, for having me here. Uh, What a privilege it is to be with you and talk about what a real man is, what men go through in a day-to-day life, just being one of them as a father, as a husband, as a son. Uh, it's It's a tough job to be a man in this day and age. We are, uh, we have, we have been required a lot from us. There's a huge requirement for us men, but we forget who we are. We are, we tend to rescue everybody else in the world. We fail to rescue ourselves. And that's where something happened to me about a week ago, uh, kind of an inner revolution in my own life. the trials and tribulation that I am facing in my life and God had to show me that that it's okay to be weak it's okay to fail and it's okay to uh, be beaten up in life and it's okay to be broken because that's what a real man is it's not a real man in the word persona is somebody who is strong maybe a farmer type a soldier or a hero superhero and that's what we look at but that's really not what a real man is a real man is the one who fails and gets up seven times seven a real man who is understand that he needs God to be able to to fight this good fight and he needs God to be able to walk through this journey and I am very very touched when the Holy Spirit came and ministered that to me and I have never been happier about who I am I remember as a child at seven years old as I was afraid of dark and my father made me walk in an alley to take the fear away but it didn't take the fear away it brought more and more fear in my life till as I got older afraid of dark and my father said to me that it's okay you can be tough but you know what I just want to reach out to those men who are listening to them there may be grandfathers fathers sons husbands it's okay to 
to show emotions. It's okay to be weak. It's okay that people think less of you. It's okay that people call you names. It's okay that we are, we have this image that we have to keep up. We don't have any image because our image is in Christ, and which is perfect. We're complete in Him. And that's how God sees us, and that's how we should see us. And so often we forget about that. We forget who we are because we are constantly working. We are involved in the ministry. We are doing other things, taking care of families, playing sports with our kids, or doing all other things, and we forget who we really are. And to me, finding that out in this junction in my life, and I'm 50 years old, is revolutionized my soul, and I am broken before God, and I am. Thankful that God showed me that, that who I really am, that I need to love myself. I need to give myself grace. I need to give myself mercy. So if you are listening to this, just remember it's okay that you are weak. Don't go in a corner or sit in front of a TV and spend your days thinking about what I didn't do right or what did I do wrong. But say, God, show me what I can do as I go forward. It's not about failing or falling. It's about recovery. How quickly I can recover and walk with God. And that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, at the finish line, God doesn't remember any of our failures or what we didn't do right. All He remembers our heart. I was reading in a book of Deuteronomy where. When the Israelites were crossing over the Jordan River, the Ark of the Covenant was 2,000 feet, cubic feet ahead of them, which is a mile and a half. They were leaders, and three million Israelites. The reason God had that Ark that far away, so everybody could have their individual faith as they look at the Ark. And as they crossed the River Jordan, the Ark came in the middle, and as they crossed. All the three million people. The ark was behind them. So God is always ahead of us. God is in us, and God is behind us. To me, when I read that, I was just so delivered, and I was so thankful. That's how much God cares about us. So, to you guys who are listening today, just remember you are loved. Don't worry about your weaknesses or your failure. God sees you perfect. We see you perfect. We are here for you. We love you. You'll be okay. And that's just a message from my heart to your heart. Wow, that's so powerful. Thank you, Atul. You know, you said some key things, and and maybe we can unpack them just for a few minutes today. I、uh, just heard the compassion and the care, and you said something right at the onset that you know we're so busy rescuing others that. We ourselves、uh, falter. You know, we have that hero mentality, and I love what you said. It's like God is looking for us to recover, to be weak in Him, to like in weakness His strength is made perfect. In Second Corinthians twelve nine, and then you said this. You said that you had an inner revolution, and I, I got to say that's one of my favorite two words, and hence the name of the podcast. <laughs>、uh, but until we have the inner revolution, we don't come to these conclusions. We try to be macho. We try to be strong. We try to have that hero complex. We try to、uh, do it all right, but oftentimes failure ushers in、uh, just a paradigm shift where we just say, "Okay, God." Uh, you are increasing, and therefore I'm decreasing. Maybe you want to just talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, it's really interesting because I always grew up with this hero mentality, tough guy, and God had to completely break me down to on my knees where I have nothing left, and God had to show me that you know what, that hero mentality is for the world. My hero is the one who's weak and who relies on. As you said in the words that from Matthew, the word, God is increasing and I am decreasing, and that is true. A real man is always let God increase in his life, and his flesh decrease, and that's where I came to a conclusion in my own life that you know what, I need to be broken, and 
God has completely broken me to the point where I rely on Him for strength every second of my life. And that's where I found out that I am that real man who really has a, who's in love with God and letting God show him and mold him into his character and nature. And I think that's where us men don't let God do a work in our lives. But God brings us to that place because God has a greater plan than we could even see right now. And this shall pass, but what we are learning today would implement as we go forward in our lives. Wow. Excellent. Excellent. You know, uh, that shift is so, uh, you know, so important. You know, weakness or being vulnerable or even transparent maybe is not so attractive. You know, we want to have all the right answers. We want to be strong. We want to have a plan. But God is saying, I, I need to be the one that is leading you. You cannot lead yourself. Uh, Jeremiah ten thirty five is a good indicator of that, that, you know, a man cannot even order his own steps. But yeah. just as we close today, and I, I so much love this content, you know, again, brokenness. These are, we cannot break ourselves. You know, I, I think of the principle, we either fall on the rock and are broken or the rock falls on us and crushes us. And in the day and age we're living in, as fathers, as husbands, as leaders. By the way, every one of us is a leader because we all have a sphere of influence. So maybe you're today thinking, oh, I'm not such a great leader. Actually, you have more influence more influence than you may realize. But uh, just with the coronavirus, all the uncertainty that's surrounding us, I, I think this is a great day for men to be confident in the Lord and to step up and walk with God. Uh, do you want to say anything in closing about that? Yeah, I I think uh, that we need to learn to remember to be still and be quiet. Not worry about our reputation. Not worry about what anybody thinks about us. It's what God, how God sees us. And that's what matters. Because things will come and go. But what matters is our character in Christ. And that's something I'm learning like I've never learned before. So in the times like, like this that we are living in, we need to remember God, is, God gave us a provision of His Son. His presence is with us, which is the Holy Spirit. And His promises are yea and amen, which He's coming back. So we have, we have a lot to look forward to. Excellent. Excellent. So good to hear your heart today. And I, I just want to capitalize or emphasize what you said. Like, again, our identity, who we are in Christ is so much more of a focus than who people think that we are. So our testimony is so important. And to know yourself after the new self-image, know yourself after the grace identity, uh, study to see that you're approved already of God in 2 Timothy 2.15. We are so blessed to encourage you today and stay tuned for upcoming podcasts and episodes where we talk to real men and uh, encourage you to keep going, not to quit, and to keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. God bless you.